What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys. This is my haul of the week. This is a special haul of the week. It was my birthday this week, uh, earlier this week, and this is basically my birthday haul. <laughs> Um, for the most part, there's a couple of stuff there that are, uh, non-birthday, but I have, what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five items, and three of them are birthday items, so pretty cool. Although, one of them I almost kind of consider a birthday item. Hey, why not? So let's start there, actually. I, and here's what I'm gonna do this time. Um couple of these items are already opened and then I'll explain why as we go and then I since this is like a special one I'm considering this my birthday haul I'm gonna open everything here so bear with me this might be a little bit longer um, but consider this um, on an unboxing of like three of the five figures and you're gonna see two of them unboxed already. So no unboxed of any of these coming soon, but I don't unbox everything in unboxed. Here's what it is. Anywho, first dude, we have the Marvel Legends Green Goblin and his hand went flying off. That's a problem. Um, but I highlight that problem on the Repack Podcast uh, episode 180, I believe. And we recorded that this morning, so that'll be up probably later this week. So pay attention to my um, my Facebook page, Ultra Zill Toys. I'll post a link to it when it's up. There's another episode that should be going up very soon prior to that. Um, and I have a separate review on that one. But I did review this guy this morning, so I opened him up this morning. Actually, uh, took a look at him for the first time, and he's pretty cool. You know, so, you know, except for very loose uh, joints in his hands. Really having that problem here. So, I don't know if that's like mold degradation or what, because he's a remold of uh, Hobgoblin. But that's the thing that's happening, you know? Like, I don't even know where that hand just went. As soon as I picked him up, it went flying. But it's a cool figure to get, because I'm a huge Green Goblin fan, and it looks great. So I'm very, very happy uh, to have them. And I picked them up last week, um, last Saturday night at uh, Target. So I haven't seen them in store yet. And this line, is, this wave has been out for a while. I never saw this one in store. So very, very happy. Big Green Goblin fan. Uh, I could deal with the, the loose hands because he's going to be on display. Um, at, there's pics on my Facebook page already. I took pics this morning for this guy for, uh, you know, to have up as well as for reference uh, for repacked. So go check those out. Um, head sculpt is incredible, again. But I consider this like a birthday gift because my wife let me get him while uh, in her presence. So, <laughs> um, you know, that might sound a little weird or it might not to some collectors, you know? So there you go. I consider this guy like a birthday gift. So, very cool, very cool. Um, the next one is uh, a gift that, and this one is the other open one already, um, that my my brother-in-law got me. And he got me SH Figure Arts Metal Guruman from Digimon. Very awesome. I've wanted this figure, you know, uh, very cool. And uh, I got him. Very nice. Looks great. Uh, his little wings aren't on. They're in the box. Um, what happened was Ultrazilla Jr. Uh, wanted to see him right out of the box because it looked super, super cool. He saw the box. And he wanted to see the figure. And uh, Here's the box if you haven't seen it. Gonna do box art heard of this, obviously. Um, beautiful box. But yeah, this thing is cool. Can't wait to review this guy. So very, very nice. So I dig that. I, I dig that a lot. So thank you, Anthony, brother-in-law Anthony for that. The next one is, oh, there's some some figure stands on there. Um, the next one uh, I gotta thank my sister for because my sister Ro um, 
because she got me a Amazon gift card and I for my birthday and I right away put it towards Michelangelo from SH Figure Arts. This is the last of the turtles that I needed. So from that line, um yeah. I'm glad to have this guy. Gotta start. So we're opening this up again. No unbox of Mikey this time. I did just recently do an unbox of uh, Leonardo, I believe. And I still do have Donatello, so I will be doing an unbox of that, I believe. Um, but yeah, I wanna. I just wanna. It's like you know my birthday. Some you know if I had a cake here, it'd be like my whole birthday over again. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna take off. All, I could take off all the plastic. There we go. Oh. And his bandana fell down. But there's, there's Mikey. Very cool. Dig it? Okay, good. I saw like a little black splotch on his uh, his shell, his chest shell, and it was just dirt. But very, very nice. So very happy to finally complete the set. Um, and I really do want to get the reviews of the rest of the turtles because I have reviewed Raphael already a while back uh, now and I'd like to uh, get the rest of the reviews done for the other three turtles um, before the NECA set comes out. This way those reviews are done and then um, within that NECA review I, I will like do a comparison shot with the, the two I believe or something like that. So, the next thing I even I haven't even opened yet. It's a box, um, and I'd, I wanna, I wanna check it out. So, it's something I got from GameStop.com. And funny enough, um, this was ordered the same day as uh, when I went to GameStop and I got those Dragon Ball figures, so... I guess last Friday, somebody posted this up on Action Figure Junkies. Uh, shout out to Action Figure Junkies on Facebook. Biggest, biggest community of action figure collectors on the net. Go join up. Highly recommended. So this one, somebody posted that this was up. I forget who, so my apologies. Um, uh, but yeah, I got Masters of Universe Classic Anti-Eternia He-Man. Very cool. This was a Maddie Collector deal originally. Um, I missed it. It actually was one of the ones I wanted to get. I did not collect um, the He-Man stuff. Uh, you know, it was one of those lines that just like kind of... I came back to collecting late in the game, you know, and just like like four years ago now. And by that point, it was just like it was a slow build of what I was getting. You know, so it took a while for me to get back to Masters of Universe, which I did get when I was a kid. Um, so I was kind of out of it. Last year I did try Trapjaw, the Filmation Trapjaw, and I kind of hated it, guys. Uh, it wasn't for me, so I guess the Filmation ones weren't my, I, I, my cup of tea, I guess. I don't know, like something about it just didn't feel like a, a premium figure. Um, I do have... The ultimate um, He-Man and Skeletor come in hopefully soon. I'm not sure what's going on with that Super Seven. Um, I think they're on their way. I last I heard they were on a boat. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I'm looking forward to those. I saw those at Toy Fair as well, and they look gorgeous. So that's more in line uh, with what I'd like, and I'm guessing this figure is along. Oh my God, this is gorgeous! Wow. Wow, that looks super cool. There you go. Anti Eternia He Man. So, this is not a birthday item, really. I mean, I guess it's like happy birthday to myself. Because <laughs> I saw it and I bought it. So, pretty, pretty cool. Looks really good. Um, yeah, I guess we gotta open it, right? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Is this just on a card? No. No easy way to open this, huh? Well, that's okay. Because I'm 
definitely not in this for the box. So, let's get them out. I said I was opening everything. I'm going to stick to it. A shame because it is a nice box. And I did want to probably get to it for box art nerd, but... Oh, well. I mean, I guess I can't I can still look at it. Let's see. <laughs> I pretty much really damaged it um, just now, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's see. What else needs to be cut? There's a little string here. All right. Let's get this guy out. There's a plastic here. Oh. That's, this guy's pretty solidly in there, let me tell you. There is a shield. Wow, that's cool. Shout out to my pal Mike Monch who told me this figure was, was the bee's knees, you know. So, yeah. It is the bee's knees for sure. Pretty awesome. A little bit something weird on him, but... I might get to that in a review right now, but uh, overall, I'm already like wowed. Check this guy out. Huh? That is super cool. Super, super, super cool. The colors are great. Yeah, I already like this way better than uh, that trap draw figure that I, I picked up last year, which I sold. Um, re reviewed it on Repacked and then, and then sold them. Wasn't for me. Um, the only other Maddie collector thing I did get was uh, Lionel, who's on up there with the Mezco Lionel. He's in front of him. Mezco Lionel, that guy I'm probably selling actually because I I did get the the new Mezco Lionel. I don't really need two big ones. I got it because um, it has an open mouth, and that's what I really want from my Lionel figures. So uh, yeah, that one's probably gonna go for sale pretty soon. Wow, I am really impressed. I love, love his face and his hair. Super cool. Can't wait to review that guy. So awesome. Okay. Uh, one last thing. And this is from my wife. Um, and from Ultrazilla Jr. Um, but this is something really cool and awesome. Um, yeah. I, I'm really, like, wowed by, by this... Uh, um, I'm just gonna show you. This is really, really awesome. This is, uh, Black Getter, the character, uh, Super Robot Black Getter, and, uh, this is a Metacom VCD figure, which is, like, a vinyl figure, vinyl collectible doll. This thing is huge and incredible looking. So, I did cut this open that same night um birthday night when you know i also got this guy and um ultrazilla jr wanted to get this guy open and i started opening it but like if you've ever opened like a major giant vinyl figure you know there's <laughs> there's a term in the and the vinyl community fresh vinyl um uh coined by i believe by rich esso so um yeah woo a little it's a little less now because I think it's been opened a little bit but we're gonna open this big guy I've been I have not uh, this has been like six days now and I oh yeah whoo fresh vinyl like I have not opened it so this is a you know kind of like a vinyl statue like if you have like X pluses or you know them this is just like a high-end vinyl holy Moses Yeah. Oh my god. It's so cool. Wow. It's heavy, guys. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is way heavier than I expected. Like, I was just mentioning X plus. Oh, oh, don't fall. And, I mean, I only have one X plus in house right now, and that's, uh, Mecha Godzilla. This is way lighter. You know, this is solid. Oh my god. I do have another X Plus coming, and I do have another on pre order that I paid for. So, more X Pluses on their way here. Um, Mecha Godzilla. 
my favorite figure of 2016. Uh, but yeah, this guy, holy Moses. Oh my God. That is absolutely incredible. It feels so good. I'm blown away. I really am. Wow. Um, also, I need to get my Sentinel Black Getter out of the package. I've had that for a while now. Uh, and now with this guy out of here, I want to get that guy out of there. I want to review them both um, soon. Because if you don't know Black Getter, man, get, you know, look up Black Getter. There's like, you know, he doesn't appear as much as like, something like Getter Robo and stuff. Uh, but he is, he's in an OVA that like is incredible and... From the minute I saw this guy a while back, um, I fell in love with this design and I really love it. This, you know, I don't have that much. I only have, uh, before the Revoltech, I only had the, uh, oh, before the Sentinel, I only had the Revoltech one. Um, so, and I got the Sentinel one a little earlier this year and, um, you know, glad to get that. That was like a reissue of that figure. Man, this is so awesome. Uh, I want to take out his cape. He's got a huge cape, like, in the middle here. This is really the main event here, so, you know. I know maybe it's not as popular a thing with you, but it's, as far as super robots go, man, I gotta say, behind Voltron, like, pure super robots, he might be my favorite. He probably is my favorite. Um, here's the cape. Very cool. I think I have to do some removing to get it in there. Yeah, I gotta look at the directions. I don't wanna ruin anything here, but you know, this would most likely go underneath here. Yeah, like I think, uh, his head does move. I don't know if I pull off his head. I'm gonna have to check that, check back for my review on this um, to see that, so. But it's gonna look cool. It's gonna look really cool. I am so excited to have this. You don't even know. Oh man, his head moves. It's on a ball joint. <laughs> but I think that might be the only articulation. There's not really much articulation on these types of figures. So, and they do call them figures, you know, like, it is what it is. I used to call them statues when I was younger. Now, like stuff like this is called figures as well. I, I'm blown away. All right, guys, that's all I have. Some really cool stuff. Black Getter and Metal Garumon and Anti-Turnia He-Man. Green Goblin. And Michelangelo, who's uh, under a bunch of... A uh, <laughs> bunch of plastic now, so he's down there. So a lot of cool stuff, and I want to thank everybody... Uh, who who got me a gift uh, here and I want to thank all you guys um, for checking out this video and checking out all my videos uh, and I hope you dig what I do it's it's definitely a labor of love and um, you know I love sharing this stuff with you it's it's been such an interesting and um, new experience for me to do this the last like year uh, like year and a half now you know with the channel and the Facebook page and um you know growing myself as a human being I've been very reflective this week um you know like you kind of question what you do at some birthdays and um this week was you know very very much like that you know like because uh, I'm doing a lot of like lettering work and uh, I'm trying to do a lot here and you know it's it's work guys this channel is work doing it the way I, I'd like to I mean the way I'd like to is like I, I'd like to like learn way more get way better get a better camera get better lighting you know learn editing even more so um, and do it like even more right but in because of you know, my time factor and because of how much work I do, um, my goal is to keep going and give you 
a ton of content and hopefully my opinions are one that you are enjoying. I do come at this from like v various angles. Um, I, you know, between life experience, because I'm old, <laughs> uh, because of, you know, work experience, you know, working in comics, working closely with people that do toys for a number of years. And, you know, I have, a, being an artist myself, like, I, I feel like I have, you know, like, I feel like when I talk about this stuff, I don't sound like a complete idiot. So I hope you guys don't think so, uh, you know, and are enjoying the content. So, all right, that's all I got because, you know, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Peace out, peeps.